apparently we still got to talk about it. Thought Hank Green had us covered with his video and we'd be done with it, but we're not done with it. There's a genre of video that's been around for quite some time. It gained some traction with a certain video by one Nash Greer that uh, angered very many people. The what I look for in girls video type of video. Pretty much everything that I would want to say about like overarching societal implications of this has been said already. Primarily I referenced Hank Green made a freaking fantastic video about it. I will link that below. Obviously that hasn't helped deter people from making these videos as I still see them from time to time. So I'm gonna try and take a little bit of a different approach. First of all, from the creator perspective, I get the draw to make this type of video. Number one, video is gonna get views. A title like that is something that is gonna draw people in to watch your video video, definitely 100%. This is something that most YouTubers, and I employ on my channel myself, my video on sexuality, for example, was designed, title, tags, description-wise, to bring people in, and it was successful in doing that. And a what guys look for in girls video is gonna bring people in. Number two, when you make a what guys look for in girls video, you're gonna attract a lot of attention to yourself in a way that is very personally validating. Naturally, when you make a video about what you look for in a relationship to your mostly heterosexual female audience, there's gonna be some people who offer themselves as tribute. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, it only becomes a bad thing when you start to value yourself based purely on that, but that's a completely individual thing that has nothing to do with, like, the YouTube community or anything. That's an individual issue. So yeah, I get it. I understand why people make these videos. However, it doesn't really matter what your intent is, the damage gets done anyway. And again, there are some very big societal and gender politics issues that go on with this. I want to avoid that conversation because it's been had before. I'm talking more on a personal level, how this can affect individuals. From my perspective, I was once in a situation where somebody who I had quite a large crush on and didn't really know all too well, released a similar kind of list of prerequisites of things they find attractive in a potential partner. Inevitably, what ended up happening is I started checking off the various things that applied to me and getting upset at the things that didn't apply to me. I can pretty much guarantee that that's a pretty regular thing that happens when it comes to these types of videos and things. People checking, it's inevitable. Put yourselves in the shoe of the viewer for a hot second here. That can be pretty devastating if the person who is the object of your affection starts lifting off things that are very anti you, that are not you at all. And it's different than a typical rejection situation because there's a wall in between the person who's doing the rejecting and the person being rejected. A wall that is very difficult to break down. So unintentionally, while this creator is getting a bunch of positive attention for themselves because of this video, some of the viewers feel incredibly alienated and very physically judged or personality-wise judged for not having the certain traits that this person deems appealing to them. There's also the small bit that when you release a video listing all your prerequisites for attractiveness, in another person, you make yourself look like a tool. Yes, having a type and being attracted to certain types of people is totally fine, totally okay, but there's a reason why online dating profiles are often so cringeworthy to read and very few people pull off successfully because you look like a tool. Especially if you're doing it publicly in front of a large audience because at that point you're kind of implying that a lot of people exist to please you, and that's just not the case. That's not how it works. I have a type of person that I'm normally attracted to, definitely 100%. And having a type slash having standards is not only normal, it's in fact encouraged. It becomes an issue when you construct this perfect person that oftentimes is completely unrealistic because our imaginations like to create perfection and perfection doesn't exist. So as an unintentional result of this, your standards are almost too high. You've created this unreachable standard of a person that you want to be with, and it's just everyone else doesn't add up to that. And that's not even taking into account how this negatively affects all the people who are exposed to this standard that you've created for yourself. The thing about this that uh, is really unfortunate is that it's all unintentional. Nobody means to do this. The people making these videos do not mean to do this at all. But is it unhealthy? Does it have bad consequences? Absolutely. It's the same thing like somebody who constantly posts on Facebook about how single they are and self-deprecates themselves constantly. It's unhealthy and it's kind of sad. <laughs> like I said before, I definitely have a type of person I'm typically attracted to. However, when you kind of list out all these requirements for someone to be attractive to you, in a way you kind of limit yourself. It's my personal belief that humans aren't necessarily just the sum of all their parts. Well, they are, but they're not. A person is not just a pair of eyes, a body type, a color of hair, a type of personality that you find appealing. A person is so much more than that. Because attached to all these identifiers is a story. Right? A person doesn't just exist in space, a person also exists in time, and that is a huge, huge 
part of who a person is. Yes, attractiveness can be a totally physical thing sometimes, and that's totally okay, totally fine, I'm totally down for it. However, most people crave something more than that. And the same thing goes for platonic friendships as well. It isn't just about the snapshot of what a person looks like right now, it's about the entire picture, the whole thing. And it's my opinion that listing your type publicly like that not only does damage to the people who are watching that, but it does damage to yourself because you're holding yourself back and you're limiting yourself in what you can experience in other people. When you make what I look for in girls videos, everybody loses. Yes, on the surface you get views. Yes, on the surface you get that physical validation that comes in the comment section, but everyone loses out on the bigger picture here, and I think that's way more important. But then again, that might be why I'm not super crazy big famous on YouTube, because I'm looking at the bigger picture. That's all I gotta say about that, though. If you want to continue the conversation, I will be reading the comments definitely on this one, because I, I feel like I feel like y'all are gonna come through and be super rad in the comments. But uh, yeah, as always, I'm Connor Manning. You've just become a little more awesome, and I will see you guys on Friday. For those who are concerned, and as a matter of fact, I'm glad that you are concerned, and I'm also a little disappointed that more people aren't concerned. Um, the signs, right? A lot of people are like, where's the 35,000 sign? I got you, because um, I'm out of space on that thing right there. And, and, and it led me to some self-reflection, and that self-reflection was like, Connor, it's time to not do it by the fives, but do it by the tens. Right? How nuts is that, that we're at a point where, where 5,000 isn't even enough to warrant a sign? Like, that's crazy to me, because that's so many freaking people. Right? That's so many people. So here's the deal. 40,000 subscribers is the next time you will see me make a poorly drawn sign to celebrate. And we'll figure out where to put it together. I might tweet out. You know, just to make it a team effort. But that's that's the thing. I made the decision to go to 10, which is crazy. Crazy. <laughs>